here's a big pile or a bucket full of yeah hello how are you yeah busy day um a bucket full of daisies and marjoram and things like that that i've pulled up from the garden and i'm going to continue planting up this stretch these are all spindle walnut rowans and gilderose so basically you can see some of the ones that i planted earlier this spring are coming along pretty okay those are some daisies oxide daisies so here's a this is a foxglove so that might be might bloom this year but it might bloom next year i don't know so um i am pulling up the grass though because i don't want the grass to take over here yet i want to give the daisies and other herbs a chance to grow oh there's some bluebells that's one of my walnut trees so i hope this walnut tree is alive it's grown from a seed from a walnut that my grandfather planted so more oxide daisies and there's a thistle i don't want the thistles to take over either because they will uh overshadow the um daisies so oh and there's an evening primrose so i'm going to lay these out and for example this herb here is let's see i can just put it right here look at this i can pick this out and the ground is disturbed enough that the coming rain it will uh put roots down into the wood chip so basically i'm just taking you can see i pulled it up by the roots all i have to do is do that maybe pull that grass out and um that's what i'm going to do you can see disturbed there where i was pulling up thistles those dandelions will stay the evening primrose see this is e dandelions evening primrose oxide daisies so i'm planting it with as many blooms and blossoms as possible if i let the thistles take over they'll literally take over and then that's only food twice a year there's a yarrow that i've transplanted all of these from seedlings in the garden but you can see occasionally a bird gets excited and digs up what i've planted so i just put it back in hopefully that'll work but i don't want the thistles to take over because like i said the plants i'm planting in here will be food for a broader span of the year than just thistle season so it's all about tending to the biodiversity oh look here's another one that was dug up okay the birds hunt for worms and stuff and uh in doing so occasionally they pluck they pluck a um there's a thistle pulled occasionally they pluck out my already planted daisies evening primrose foxgloves marjoram etc so i'm gonna do that now empty this bucket which is full of lovely baby oxide daisies that i got from another location in the garden so they will um see i just have to dig a little bit down so that it has somewhere and there's a huge rain coming this afternoon and that will here are seed heads of other stuff from last year and hopefully these will spread these are yarrows by the way and hopefully these yarrows will spread their seeds this is one i it was transplanted last year this yarrow and here you can see the gilded ro gilda rose is coming you can just see it's gonna be blooming soon as well so are you coming to help hmm are you coming to help you're gonna help with a plant a daisy hmm? so put this daisy here yeah yes 
you good garden planter, aren't you? You're a good garden planter. Okay, I'm gonna finish, empty that bucket all up through here. Let me weed. I want to weed the grass out. Big worm. Now, the rest of this are baby seedlings. So you can see they're all just coming up. So what I'm gonna do that I scraped from the garden, what I'm gonna do, there's a bit of grass in that. I'll get rid of that. Don't want that. That can, the sheep can have that. Okay, these seedlings, what I'm gonna do, because there's rain coming, and it'll pummel the baby seeds roots down into the ground. You can see there's a lot of thistles here. I haven't gotten up here yet. I'm just gonna spread these seedlings just because you can, it's full of baby seedlings. So, the sheep are hearing the bucket rattle and think it's something for them. <laughs> Sorry, ladies, nothing here for you. Um. So tonight's rain, or this afternoon's rain, is going to water those seedlings in. These are yarrow. You can see again, these are planted, um, I dug up from somewhere else and brought here. And I could probably take these and, oh, I threw it and it landed on this bit of spindle. I want it to spread, but the seeds are probably already out wherever they're going to be. There is grass growing in here, but you know, I wanted the yarrow more and with time, see, I've got to dig up that thistle. So, oh, there we go. Didn't get the whole root, but a vast percentage of it. The dogs are all on the other side of the fence. So, never ending trying to deal with the biodiversity that is functioning. And it takes a lot of tending. And that's what I'm doing here. Oh, look, this bit of grass I can dig up easily. Now, we 
Would you like this a little bit? Yep. Is she going to get to it? Yep, there she goes, eating my bit of weeding. Trying to avoid eating the roots there. Okay, ladies. I think I've done my bit of wildflower planting for today. Every day, do a few minutes of it, and it gets better and better. Isn't that right, Oven Mitt Kitty? Are you a good wildlife planter? Assistant. Yes. You're such a good assistant. An empty bucket. Just what every gardener wants. Job done. Isn't that right, puppers? <laughs> yeah. Job done.